See the devastating effects of a Richter scale 7 earthquake. Class, I have some tremendously exciting news for you. Class has been cancelled? Thank you, Dr. Drone. Class, Mr. Farragut here, whom some of you know as Phoebe's father, <clears throat> is about to embark on a scientific mission of the utmost importance. And he's inviting this class along. Thank you, Mr. Milbank. We will be traveling aboard my ship, the San Andreas. The expedition will be led by the world-famous seismologist, Professor Firma. Professor, uh, will you explain? Thank you. I've developed an invention that may save hundreds, even thousands of lives every year. Uh, film, please. I call it a seismic conductor. As you know... Earthquakes are shock waves created when adjoining plates of the Earth's crust release pressure. My seismic conductor creates shock waves that counter earthquake shock waves, so that the two waves cancel each other out. No more earthquakes? What are people in California going to do for fun? We're testing the seismic conductor on a trip to the Azores Fault, and the expedition begins tomorrow morning. Yeah! looking ship. Yeah, far out ride. Of course, Peter's yacht is ever so much better appointed than this top. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah, and ocean voyages are so romantic. Uh, I hope I don't get seasick. Hi, I'm Professor Firma's daughter, Terry. Welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy your voyage. Thank you. I'm sure I will. Another girl? We can't take James anywhere. I'll show you to our cabins, and then you can join my father and Dr. Drone in the laboratory. My company built the San Andreas to Professor Firma's specifications. We think a world with earthquakes is a profitable idea. These high-speed computers can calculate the exact waveform needed to cancel an earthquake shockwave. Hmm, I wonder if those are the seismic probes. Uh, excuse me, are these the... You're in the wrong place, kid. Jaws! Help! <coughs> what is it, IQ? It's Jaws! <laughs> ah, on a pleasure! 
use your cruise jaws? Uh, out of my way, Bond. Uh. You're about to get a splatty headache, Bond. No sweat, my man! Uh, trouble, James? It appears so, sir. Probably one of my competitors. They give anything for Professor Furman's seismic conductor. Eh, uh, good work, my lad. That was no business competitor. Scam wants something. Indeed. But what? Bring the landlubber aboard! Skull, what happened? That young Bond was aboard. Did you plant the tracking device? Uh, I must have lost it. Lost it! Now we'll have to follow the San Andreas before we take her. And I did so want to terrorize a few pleasure craft before we went after them. Oh, man. Prepare to cast off, me hearties! this, guys. Uh, what is it? It's tracking device. Scam wants to know where we're going. Ah, uh, they could have just asked. But I wonder how Jaws got on board. Uh, I don't feel so good. What's the matter, IQ, old boy? Feeling seasick? Why, these are calm seas. It's a piece of cake. Uh, don't mention food. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, Trevor. Well, that's just too bad. You're certainly dressed up, James. I just wanted to look my best for dinner. There's a light down there. It's Terry. She's flashing a light. You startled me. Who are you signaling, Terry? Uh, signaling? Uh, no one. I was, um, I was just trying to get this flashlight to work. N now, um, if you'll excuse me. Now there's a girl with something to hide. Maybe right, Tracy. My name is Captain Walker D. Plank. I am now in command of this vessel. What do you want? Ah, Professor Firma. Just the man I wanted to see. I want you to use your little invention to make an earthquake for me. And if you refuse, you'll all walk the plank. This is my ship. How dare you board her? Oh, aren't we brave? Tie him up. This chubby gentleman didn't think I meant business. Well, I'll show him, and you, that I do. Of us, matey! Make him walk on air! There, Phoebe. That was just a sample of what's in store for you if you do not obey. Only next time, you'll perform without a net. I've got to do something, but what? A punching bag, that gives me an idea. I can't stand it anymore! Go look for the lad. If he surfaces, shoot! He ain't coming up, Captain. Thanks, punching bag. Take him below, but bring the scientist to the lab. <coughs> now to see if I can't put a monkey wrench into Planck's scheme. And I want a magnitude 8 earthquake 
to occur in this vault here, with this epicenter here. But an earthquake of that size will flood the entire southern coast of England. Thousands of lives will be in danger. Good, Dr. Drone. That little demonstration of my power will teach the world to bow down to me and scum. Get in here. Oh, stop pushing. The rest of you had better mind your manners, if you know what's good for you. What if we don't? Then you'll join your friend Bond as food for the fishes. <laughs> well, it's locked. What are we gonna do? I don't know about you, but I'm gonna eat something. How can you even think of eating after what happened to... to James? <laughs> It wasn't too bad, Tracy. Besides, I'm a fast healer. Oh, Are you alright? Right? Exactly what I wanted Captain DePlank to think. But now we've got to find a way to take this ship back from the pirates. I'll rig up some gadgets. And you'll need to tell me how that seismic conductor works, Terry. I... I can't. You won't, you mean? James, I know she was signaling to Plank's sub last night. It's true, isn't it? I'm sorry, but that horrible man with the teeth said he'd hurt my father if I didn't. Your only chance to help your father is to help us. I promise you no harm will come to them. All right, I'll help you. I've rigged this aerosol can as an underwater breathing apparatus. Amazing IQ, how do you do it? Well, just an act, really. It only works for a few minutes, though. And this fire extinguisher will propel you underwater for a half mile. If you can get close enough to the seismic conductor's computer and flip this switch, this device ought to erase all the data on the computer's... Don't forget to lower the fire extinguisher out the porthole. I may need it. All set. Hey, uh, good luck, my man. Thanks. The laboratory duct has a separate filtered air system. We'll have to enter from the passageway. You're the leader, Terry. <laughs> I'll check to see if there are any guards. <sighs> I'm sorry, James. Young Bob is back! Get him! Oi, oi, Captain! Oi! I've got to get to that computer. I hope this thing works. Well, well, Young Bond! I expected you to show up. How clever of you, Duplank. But I've got a little surprise. <laughs> what is it? A video game? <laughs> what are you doing? Stop him! This is your captain speaking. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> this is to inform James Bond that unless he surrenders in two minutes, one of his friends will walk the plank. Pick one. No, not me. I'm too privileged to die. Take her. Or her. Please. She, she really is dead. Oh, no, don't. My father's awfully wealthy. He'll pay you anything. Well, what a brave... Take the whiner off and put Bond on the plank. James or Trevor, a rotten trade. At last, the young James Bond meets his demise. James, my man, for my next dive, I'll do a one and a half gainer. Amusing to the last, eh, Bond? We'll tell your next one to the fishies. What's the water? If Bond shows his head, fire!
extinguish her. Oh, he must have floated here from the San Andreas. <sighs> I do wish IQ would use the large economy size aerosol can. I hope the plank has what I'm looking for. Ah, a mini sub. With robotic arms. This will do nicely. We'll plant the probes for the test here. If your seismic conductor works, the earthquake it produces will destroy the small, uninhabited island. Then we can begin on large, inhabited ones. Probes away. The probes are set, De Plank. Please call me Captain De Plank. All right, Doctor. Begin the program. The program is running. Captain De Plank. <laughs> Total destruction! Move this equipment to my submarine! With luck, Walker de Plank will soon find his world turned upside down. Thank you for your hospitality. I've left lifeboats for you. Maybe someone will come along to rescue you. In a month or two, on board the Jolly Roger, me hearties, we have destruction to attend to. <laughs> what about James? Well, don't worry, Tracy. I'll bet he's got everything under control. I thought piloting this was going to be easy. Oh, now to move those probes. I'll be firing a torpedo at your ship in ten minutes. I do hope you'll be on the life rafts by then. Doc, now let's hope the plank keeps to his original plan. San Andreas, ahoy! It's James! Ahoy yourself! That a go, James, a man! As you'd say, Gordo, a piece of cake! Oh, James, I was so worried! No need. Did the plank take the seismic conductor equipment? Every bit of it. He said he's going to set off a force of nine quake any minute. Excellent. Excellent? That madman is going to devastate England, and you say, excellent? Oh, there'll be devastation, all right, sir, but not the kind he expects. But the probes, they're right in the most unstable part of the Azores Fault. Not anymore. It's all set up. Good. Now let the world know of my power. Power is on, Captain. Set the quick force at nine. Quick force at nine. Set off the quick. No need. When I was on the sub, I radioed the Royal Navy for help. Help for us? No, for them. I'll be back! Total bummer! The plank got away! 
But we're all right. I'm still worried about my mother and sister in Oxford. Just to let you know, miss, we found two scum agents lurking about your house in Oxford. We took care of them. I think I'm going to enjoy this cruise. Please, Mr. Pirate, don't make me walk the plank. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Take the girls, take anyone. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is an outrage. I'm going to tell Mr. Milbanks on you. I'll see you in... No! Oh! Trevor always did seem a bit of a drip.